Hey there, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are checking out some NBA 2K23. Now, I know NBA 2K24 is out currently. However, looking at the data, looking at the games side by side, you know, the, the new features, really the only new feature that's a big difference between 23 and 24 from what I can tell, reading about the, the games, looking at uh, videos and things like that, is the next-gen graphics that you get on your consoles. I run all of my stuff on a PC, so that really doesn't apply to me. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with NBA 2K23. And we're going to start a new series where the whole idea of this is to, uh, to run a... Uh, a my league with a custom team as you see here we have the st louis arch city and uh, it's an expansion team in the eastern conference there's another expansion team in the pacific conference to kind of balance the uh the sides out there uh east and west and we just got done with the uh the expansion draft and we'll go over our roster, our game plan, things like that here shortly. But the whole point of this is to run through here. I'm not going to play the games myself. This is going to be a simulation-based series. But we are going to watch uh, a few games a season and a lot of the postseason if we can make it into the playoffs at any point in time. And I don't expect that's going to happen in the first season, maybe not even the second season, but we're going to simulate a lot of the games throughout the season. Uh, it is 12-minute quarters. It is um, 82 games, seven-game series in the playoffs, things like that. So um, what we have going on is during the games that we watch, it's going to be computer versus computer controlling the teams. We're going to be, we're going to be controlling and managing sort of the St. Louis team uh, handling trades handling rosters handling uh, minutes uh, things like rotations things like that coaching development scouting drafting uh, all that good stuff signings free agency on all this good stuff uh, ourselves however um, we're not going to play but during the games that we watch i am going to attempt to be a broadcaster uh, and try to hopefully have a little bit of a uh, little bit of fun with it and we're gonna be you know we're not gonna be too official about it but I am going to commentate over the gameplay and we'll see how it goes so without any further ado here we go we have uh, st. Louis Arch City basketball club here uh, we just went through, like I said, the expansion draft. We got our hands on a couple of decent centers here. Clint Capella. Age, uh, well, we'll go through uh, position by position. That would be better. So we've got John Wall and Russell Westbrook at point guard. They're both a 78 overall. They're going to share a lot of the, uh, the point guard slash shooting guard responsibilities. we got a young fella here, Malachi Flynn. Uh, 6'1 point guard out of, uh, where is he out of? Where do I see this? Let's see, San Diego State. There we go. Anyway, he's 24 years old. He's a 74 overall. Uh, he does have a C potential, so he's probably not going to get that much better. So he's not going to be our franchise point guard for sure. But at any rate, there he is. So And at shooting guard, we got... Jordan Clarkson, 30 years old, uh, 78 overall. He's going to be our starter. All right, he's going to take predominant, a predominant role at the shooting guard position. He's not a great three-point shooter, but we do have a couple three-point shooters in uh, in the rotation. We do have Will Barton, 77 overall, 31 year old, uh, veteran of the league. And we also have Jaden Springer, 20 years old, 70 overall, A minus potential. So he could develop into a very solid shooting guard, starting shooting guard for the team as time goes on. But we, he does have these veterans to learn from, and we have set up those, uh, the mentor 
situations around our team, so we have set that up already. Uh, looking forward to seeing what Jaden can do in the future. For small forwards, we have Josh Richardson, a 29-year-old small forward shooting guard, 6'5", 76 overall. We have Hamidou Diallo, a 24-year-old, B-plus potential, so maybe going to get up around the 80 uh, overall, low 80s perhaps. But he's uh, predominantly inside scorer, mid-range scorer, things like that. And then we also have Andre Ugadala, 38-year-old. I think we all know who that is. And he's going to be the crafty veteran that kind of helps our guys develop. At the power forward position for the St. Louis Arch City Basketball Club, we have Jonathan Isaac, 6'10", 25-year-old, B-minus potential. So he's going to develop a little bit. All of our power forwards are fairly young, in fact. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, Grant Williams, 6'6", power forward. Uh, kind of undersized for power forward, but uh, Chimizi Metu, 25-year-old, 6'9", uh, power forward. The A-minus potential is here on Grant Williams. So power forward slash center at 6'6". Six, six. We might have him... We'll see how it goes. We might switch him over to like a small forward and see how that works. But... Um, We'll see how it goes for starters. And in our centers, we have two, Clint Capella and Kevin Love. Um, so we'll see how that works out. And we have, that's our roster. So let's take a look at our game plan, our rotations. This is what our rotations are going to look like. So John Wall is going to be our primary point guard. Russell Westbrook is going to pick up the slack when he is not in the game. Uh, we do have uh, Flynn picking up some point guard minutes off the bench. And so we're going to have, uh, of course, Clarkson's the starting shooting guard. He's going to, uh, you know, share a little bit of time with small forward, but not very much, maybe one minute uh, per game. And shooting guard Barton is going to be his backup. We are going to have Richardson picking up some shooting guard minutes, but not very many. Diallo, the starting shooting small forward, of course. His backup is going to be a couple of guys. It's going to be Richardson and Iguodala. They're both going to pick up uh, some minutes off the bench, around the same amount of minutes, around nine minutes a game. We have Isaac starting at the power forward. With Williams picking up uh, a lot of the slack there. Kevin Love's going to pick up a little bit of power forward. You know, one minute here, one minute there. And then Clint Capella, our starting center, with Kevin Love, his backup off the bench. And, um, you know, Westbrook is going to come off the bench for us. And, you know, that's not too shocking. He is in sort of the twilight of his career, but he is an excellent, excellent, uh, you know, athletic point guard slash shooting guard and I think he's going to give us a lot of uh, a lot of pizzazz off the bench let's take a look at our schedule here our first game is going to be against Sacramento uh, this is a home game so I think we're going to watch the first game of this season we're going to see how our guys do and um, you know you guys can tell me down in the comments if the um, if the audio is kind of balanced or not balanced or what the deal is. So, so we are going to have the St. Louis Arch City at home in the Reverb Arena versus Sacramento Kings, the away team. They are going to start De'Aaron Fox, Kevin Huerter, Harrison Barnes, Keegan Murray, and DeMontas Sabonis. Probably said that wrong. At the center. We are going to start John Wall, Jordan Clarkson, Hamidou Diallo, Jonathan Isaac, and Clint Capella. So um, I don't expect a whole lot from our team this first game. But let's see what we can get done. There are your starting lineups for the Kings versus the Arch City. There's De'Aaron Fox right there in front of you, their star player. <clears throat> I 
And we are off. The season has officially begun. And I'm really excited to see how these guys are going to perform on their debut as the expansion team in the East. Fox bring the ball into the paint. Coming in hot and getting the layup. Wow, over two people. I'm not liking the looks of that. All right, Clarkson has the ball at the top of the three-point line. He's looking for somebody here. He gets it back to Wall. Looking to run a play, pick and roll. Wall gets it inside the Capella. He is fouled and gets the basket. The big man getting the job done early on. It's tied 2-2 two two, pending the free throw. That's a, Fox on, that's a foul on Fox. So if we can get their star player in some foul trouble, I think that'll be pretty good. See if he can make good on this three-point opportunity. He cannot. Sabonis gets the rebound. Outlet to Fox up the court. They do not have the numbers. They're going to hold it up. Fox driving in the lane, throwing it up, missing the shot. Clarkson gets the rebound, taking it back up. Arch City, St. Louis, trying to get something done here with the pick and roll. Going to spin move inside, gets the layup. Wow. Well done. Jordan Clarkson getting the job done here in the paint. Sacramento, can they answer back here? Fox gets it over to Warder. Goes it out to Barnes. Barnes launches a three. It bricks off the iron, but Sabonis comes down with the ball. Gets it over to Murray. Still in the paint, trying to get some work done. Throws it to Fox. Fox gets rejected on the inside. Murray picks the ball up and gets the little floater to fall for him. Wow. St. Louis having some issues down low. They're just letting everybody walk inside there. Diallo trying to get into the paint, gets the work done. He gets blocked. Barnes, the rebound, bringing the ball up fast. Kings want to run. Fox in the corner. Three is good. And that's why they pay him the big money, folks. The big money. All right, Clarkson trying to put the moves on. Gets it back out to Wall. Going to have to reset here. Got a pick coming. Throws it over to Clarkson for three. Wide open. He gets it to fall. The, it's tied back up at seven apiece. Werder gets it over to Barnes. Top of the three-point line. Fox is cutting. They don't get the ball to him. They throw it inside to Werder. He goes up and bricks the easy layup. Clarkson comes back with the ball. Gets up to Diallo. Diallo is fouled by Barnes. Little reach in. There's the rejection from earlier. Kaboom! Get that out of here. All right. St. Louis going to inbound the ball here. Capella looks like he's going to take it out. Throw it inside to Clarkson. Clarkson with the layup. Breaks it off again. And Sabonis comes down with the rebound. Man, these guys cannot hit layups. And they're getting paid a lot of money to hit layups. Fox launches a shot from mid-range. Bricks off the iron again. Wall comes down with the rebound. Pushes it up the court. Throws it inside to Isaac. And he is rejected. Rejected right out of bounds. That is not good. All right, they got a couple guys cutting around, but nothing's really happening. They got to throw the ball in. Diallo gets it at the corner. He's guarded closely. Wall gets the ball, throws it over to Clarkson, swings it around to Capella, gets the pick from Clarkson, and he's stripped. He gets the ball back, but they're running out of time. They got to launch a shot, and it is a brick. It is brick city in St. Louis so far today for both teams. Oh, and they get inside for the easy layup. Diallo gets burned alive. 
see if St. Louis can answer back. It's been a pretty even ball game so far. Diallo driving, getting past everybody, gets the easy layup to go. Just burn him up. He got cooked on the defensive end and cooked everybody on the offensive end. Very well done. Barnes throwing it over to Sabonis, to Horder. Horder, a little bit of an isolation. Fox at the three-point line does not launch it. He had an open shot for a split second. Decides against it. Cutting Barnes, launches a three, high arcing. It is off. Clint Capella comes down with the ball. Diallo up to Clarkson. Quick spin move. Clarkson gets to the rim and finishes with an easy layup left-handed. That was a fast, fast break. Fox trying to drive past Wall, does not do it. Horder is just going to launch a deep three and bricks it. Sabonis fights to get the rebound, drives in, gets fouled, cannot make the shot. He's going to go to the line for two. First shot is good. Sacramento 10, St. Louis 11. They can tie it up right here. And he does so. All right, can one of these two teams put a run together? Wall bring the ball up to Diallo. Inside to Isaac. Isaac trying to post up the smaller man. He had an opportunity there. Clarkson has the ball now at the top of the key, or top of the three-point line. Pick and roll is coming. Running out of time here. They got to chuck up a three. It is no good. Not the offensive set that you're looking for there from St. Louis. But kind of the offensive set that you expect from St. Louis. Ball knocks the ball away, but the, the Kings get the ball back. Driving in and fouled. Isaac commits the foul on the drive. Layup attempt. Harrison Barnes getting inside. Going in hard. Couldn't get the job done, though, unfortunately. He will go to the charity strike for two. First one's up and good, and the Kings take the lead. Sacramento up by one. Can he make it two? All right, he does. All right, Wall's going to bring the ball up. I think we'll watch one more offensive possession here for St. Louis, and we'll sim ahead a little bit to the second quarter. Ball with the ball, getting a screen. Trying to do some post-up maneuvering, but he's not getting anywhere. Gets it to Diallo. Clarkson's running out of time. Spins into a three. And that is going to be our city ball. We're going to keep watching here, seeing what they can get done. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a spin three-point shot in my life. <laughs> but we just did. Ladies and gentlemen, we we pay this man some good money to play basketball, and that's what he gives us. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a great investment. Walt is going to chuck up a long two. It is going to brick. Sabonis comes down with it, and we're going to sim ahead a bit. All right, we are back into the action here. Five minutes to go in the second. Five minutes to go till halftime. Sacramento's up 51 to 42. So it's a nine-point lead. Trying to get it to eight, but cannot convert the free throw. And we've got a whole new lineup in here, looks like, for both teams. Trying to get some stuff done inside. The smaller man can't get anything going. Lyles to Davis. Davis immediately chucks a three, bricks it off the iron. Flynn comes down with it. Here's our young man, Flynn. Gets it up to Iguodala, gets in, and gets hacked. By Terrence Davis, absolutely packed there. That's what we like to see. Andre Iguodala 
Got a nice sweat going. He must have been out there for a few minutes already. Here's the Wiley veteran himself. We got Flynn, Barton, Metu, Igudala, and Isaac out there for Arch City. Now the Kings are going to sub in Monk and Davis. Actually, Monk switched from small forward to shooting guard. And it looks like we're going to switch Igudala to power forward and bring in Richardson at the small forward position. Yo, Davis, Igudala bricks the free throw. Can't have too much of that if you want to stay competitive in this game. And going into halftime, the layup is bricked. Davis gets his own rebound. Monk launches and bricks. That's all we're seeing so far is brick after brick after brick. Nice inbound pass to Barton, but he gets fouled. Cannot convert. Third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Oh, man. <clears throat> Not a very hard foul, but he did get hacked. Two shots. First shot is up and is good. Eight-point lead right now. Kevin Love coming in, looks like. Iguodala is going to sit down. Metu is going to come in to power forward. Kevin Love. First time we've seen Kevin Love here on the court for us. Here we go. And the second free throw is off. It's an eight-point game. Kings get a free layup down the end with Mitchell just breaking away. Malik Yep, that'll do it. We got the young man Flynn bringing the ball up the court, looking to see what he can get done here. Barton with the ball, swinging it around to Richardson. And we got Flynn on the move. He's going to get the, uh, well, he almost lost the handle. Back to Love, back to Barton. Inside to Metu. We see what Metu can get done in the post. He's going to. Do a little dream shake spin move, drop step move. I'm sorry, not a dream shake, but a drop step move. Gets the nice looking layup. Mitchell wide open for a two, bricks it. Love coming down for the rebound, gets the outlet to Richardson, pushing the ball up court quickly. But nothing comes from that fast break. They're gonna set up the offense here. Barton with the ball. Flint coming off the screen, launching a three. The young man bricks it, but Love is there for the tip back. Very nicely done by Kevin Love, the veteran. The crowd is chanting defense, and we get an offensive three-second violation by Sacramento. Russell Westbrook looks like he's getting ready to check in. He he does. Like he'll play some shooting guard for us. Barton at small forward. Richardson moves to power forward. There's Russ. Over to Barton. Over to Love. Looking inside to Richardson. He has a post up. He just does a little quick turnaround fadeaway. Breaks it off the back, uh, off the front iron. Sacramento with the ball. They're bringing it down. Trying to get inside. Nothing doing. Trying to set up some offense to try to get people to move around. They had a wide open man on the inside, but he does not make the pass. Instead, takes it himself. Gets fouled. Cannot convert the, the basket, though. Davion Mitchell going in hard. Flynn. Flynn hacks him. Gets burned alive and hacks the man. And that one rattles out. Six point game right now. They could push it up to seven with this free throw. And Mitchell does just that. Lynn going to bring the ball up for St. Louis. Barton looking for a pass. Gets it to Westbrook. Russell looking to eyes looking to go in. He can't find anybody. But he's a great in 
intro pass to Richardson, who gets the nice layup. It's a five point game. Holmes over to Monk. Monk looking for something to go on here. He's doing a spin move, gets inside, get, loses the handle. Drops it off to Holmes. Holmes gets the nice layup over. Uh, who's that? Kevin Love. Russ bringing the ball up. Gets it over to Flynn. Looking inside for Love. He's calling for it. He does not get it. Gets it at the top of the key. Westbrook trying to post up. Barton gets the pass. Over to Flynn. Flynn trying to drive. Trying to put the moves on. Gets inside. Gets a wide open jumper and makes the shot. Well done for the young man. Still a five-point game. Davis trying to drive. Gets stopped by Westbrook. Goes back out to Monk. We're going to reset. Get a little screen. Monk going inside. Gets fouled by Love. Malik Monk going inside, getting hacked. Can't convert. He's going to get two shots. At the line for two. The first one drops. We're going to get some substitutions in for uh, Sacramento. Murray and Sabonis coming in. And for the St. Louis. We're going to see Richardson move to small forward. Love move to power forward. And Capella re-enters the lineup. And it's a seven-point game. Sacramento in the lead, 58-51. Flynn bringing the ball up. Bringing it over to Westbrook. Swing. Oh, Westbrook with the lob is intercepted by Sabonis. Murray on the fast break. They do not have the numbers, but they're trying to get inside. Murray going in. He gets hacked, and he gets the, the bucket to drop an and-one opportunity here for Sacramento to push the lead to 10 if they make the free throw. Double digits is not what you want to see if you are St. Louis. Trying to put something together as an expansion team. It's just not what you want to see. But Keegan Murray is on fire right now. All right. Arch City bringing the ball up. Flynn to Westbrook. Westbrook throws it back to Flynn. Over to Capella at the top of the three-point line. Capella. Big man on the outside. Westbrook trying to put the moves on. Going inside. Baseline. Throws a layup and gets it to go. They desperately needed that. Bucket to fall. It's an eight-point lead for Sacramento. Oh, and Flynn just gets flayed on the drive. Has to hack his man. Mitchell going to the line for two more. Flynn is getting roasted out here, folks. Left and right, he is getting annihilated. Has not shown any defensive proficiency whatsoever. And the free throw is a brick. That's what we want to see. Mitchell, second free throw going up. And it is also a brick. Kevin Love comes down with the board. Richardson... Trying to push the ball. They don't have the numbers, but Richardson still trying to put the moves on. Gets over to Flynn. Inside to Kevin Love. He's a decent post player. Gets it in. He is rejected. Gets his own re gets the rebound and puts it back in. Nice recovery for Love, and it is halftime. 61 to 55 in favor of Sacramento. Arch City in trouble right now going into the break. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter. Sacramento's up 61 to 55 over our St. Louis Arch City Basketball Club. We will start with the with the ball in the third quarter. That's green. And there is a an illegal screen by Clint Capella. 
I don't know why we're seeing a block replay, but uh, that was an illegal screen, and we throw our first possession into the trash can. Uh, almost as expected. Screen coming for Fox. Fox throws up his shot, gets the mid-range jumper to fall. It's an eight-point lead right now. For the Kings. Inside, Diallo is rejected. Couldn't get the, uh, the cut finish. And... Wow, another rejection on the end of the, end of the court. Very well done there. Sacramento going to inbound the ball. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Bonus handling, getting it over to Horder. Fox looks to try to set something up here. Horder is going to drive it back out to Fox again. Gets a screen on the right side. Fox jumps back, launches a three, bricks it off the back iron. I don't know how either team has any points at this point. They're just throwing up brick after brick. There's another one. There's another brick. Here we go, Sacramento trying to set up a, an inside play for Fox. He is fouled and gets the basket. An and one opportunity. Three-point opportunity for De'Aaron Fox on his inside cut. That did not look like much of a foul. It must have just pushed him right in the chest. And the free throw is good. They're up by 11 now. Diallo going inside, get the jumper, kind of hung in the air for a second there, looked pretty nice. <clears throat> Gets the bucket to fall. It's a nine point game. Quarter over to Fox, Fox looking for a screen, doesn't get it, goes over to Murray. Herta gets the screen, but uh, they go underneath. I got the Murray, Fox, looking to get a screen as, again, he jumps back. The step back three, another brick off the back iron. He is not having a good night. At least I don't think he is. From what we we're seeing, watching, he's not having a good night. Let's see what the sim numbers say. Gallo into Isaac. Isaac, a turnaround jump shot from about 10 feet, bricks it. Burder trying to run, trying to push. Isaac has seven points in the first half and none. <clears throat> so far in third quarter. Murray stepping back, trying to drive on a wall. Loses the handle, gets it back to Fox. Time running out. Hordich just launches the three, bricks off the back iron again. But Murray is there, boxing out, gets the rebound and the easy layup on the offensive rebound. And zero yellow shirts boxing out there. The three of them down there versus one guy in... The purple shirt got the rebound. Getting a cut inside. There you go for Clarkson. A nice little cut. Backdoor cut and layup. He's got 16 points tonight. 10 points in the paint. We're going to have to see who is going to be the standout player for St. Louis this season. And who's going to start getting the job done is Sabonis throws up a brick from about one foot away. Smashes it off the back of the, the rim. Clarkson over to Isaac for St. Louis. Trying to get the ball around. Trying to get a good shot here. Got another down low screen for Clarkson. Throws up a shot. Gets fouled. And the basket is off. Going to go to the line for two. At the line for your home team. Jordan Clarkson. And his first shot is good. 68 to 60 in favor of Sacramento so far. Got to get those free throw fist bumps in. Right, Clarkson throws up another, gets it to go. So it's now a seven point deficit for St. Louis. 
Gonna have to claw their way back in. And Barnes gets inside, throws up a about a six footer, gets it to fall. St. Louis coming back on the attack here. Wall gonna set up a play, throws it over to Clarkson. Back to Wall. Over to Capella at the top. Capella bringing the ball out, looking for something to happen here. Clarkson gets open at three and launches it, breaks it off the back iron. Murray comes down with it for Sacramento. Gets it up to Fox. Fox cutting, 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 and there's going to swing it back around to him on the other side. But the defense is there. <clears throat> Darren tries to step back, catch the pass out of the Barnes, throwing up a jumper. But so, and Savonis pushes off on the rebound attempt and gets called for the personal. Going to be St. Louis ball. With an opportunity to cut into this lead a little bit here. We need a conversion. We need a good shot. Ball spinning. Getting inside stripped by Fox cleanly. Up to Barnes. Barnes gets into the paint. Throws up a left-handed little baby hook. Murray, the smallest man out there, gets the rebound. Throws it up and in for the easy two. And Arch City just kind of threw that possession away by giving the turnover. All right, Isaac with the ball. High post area, trying to see if we can get a cutter. Clarkson, time running out, is going to have to chuck this three up. Does so, bricks off the back iron. Not even close. Isaac gets it into Hoarder, and that is the easiest two points you've ever seen in your life. There is no defense for St. Louis. We don't have any of that. Don't have any of that. We're going to have a timeout here. 6.26 to go into third, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how we have no defense at all. Clarkson is going to come out in favor of Barton off the bench. For St. Louis, Diallo with the ball, throwing it back over to Wall on the left side, throwing it down to Capella on the block. Little fadeaway jumper for Capella. That's not the shot you're looking for, I would imagine. That is a brick a Rooney. Herder. <laughs> drills one in the face of like two defenders of course no hands were in the air we don't put hands up here we don't contest shots that's against our religion yellow trying to get a screen does not get one <laughs> does a nice crossover nice spin loses the handle still crossing over throws up a little jumper breaks it off the back iron and the fans are booing Rightly so, as they should. We get a foul on Clint Capella on the other end. Fox was driving. I believe that was Fox. The fans are booing us out of the building. And I think uh, I think we deserve it. I, I'm not going to argue it. <laughs> Fox's first free throw. It bricks off the side. Sacramento bringing in some substitutions. St. Louis not doing the same. Fox's second free throw goes in. 77 to 61. It's not looking good. Kind of looking like it's uh, getting close to blowout territory here, folks. Here in St. Louis. All right, we're going to chuck a three. We're going to brick a three. And Sabotis is going to come off with a rebound. Another... Boo. Chorus of boos from the crowd. <laughs> okay, and some golf claps for a rebound. I like it. Barton with the ball. Barton driving. Barton trying to get inside. Barton throwing up a two. Hitting it. What a wild shot that was. He just he was just bound and determined 
not to pass the basketball. He was like, I'm going to score this right now. This is my time. Fox throws it to Barnes. Barnes chucks a three, rattles it in. I think that's the first three-pointer that, that I recall seeing go in in this whole game for, for either team. All right, here we go. We got the ball at the corner. A screen coming from Capella. And, the, oh, Capella pulls the ball off the rim and just chucks it back in for the putback slam. What a highlight for him, but uh, I don't think it's going to matter too much. But nice play. Monk going inside. Hop step. Layup is good. And the answer back fairly easily. I think we'll watch one more office of possession for St. Louis and we'll sim into the fourth quarter. All right, Diallo with the ball, gets the screen on the right side, driving inside, spinning, going to the other side of the lane, gets fouled. Uh, sort of a bizarre play, but uh, he got it to work there. He got the foul, goes to the charity stripe for two, and we will send ahead. All right, we're going to jump back into the game now in the fourth quarter. Three minutes, 27 seconds to go. It's 108 to 99 in favor of Sacramento. It's a nine point game. So it's still doable. Offensive three-second violation by Kevin Love. That is not going to help you if you're trying to make a nine-point deficit comeback in under four minutes' time. Um, that's, that's, that's not what you're looking for. Almost gets a steal. We're going to have a jump ball. So they're trying to get it back. Calm down, fellas. Calm down. Just a basketball. Okay. Somebody else owns the basketball. And Sacramento gets the tip. Back out the Barnes. Inside to Murray. Murray with the little pump fake. Out to Herder. Herder gets the screen on the left side. Drives in the lane. Throws it back to Sabonis. Sabonis is going to have to chuck this one up from the free throw line, but it bricks off. Sacramento had, or uh, St. Louis has an opportunity here to cut into this, this deficit. Spin move. Diallo throws it back. Oh, no, that wasn't Diallo. That's Clarkson. And he goes inside, throws it back out again to Isaac. Isaac with a long two-pointer that actually goes in. My goodness. Seven-point lead for Sacramento. Fox with the ball. Goes to DeHerter. Goes over to Murray on the block. Pump fake. Back out to Fox. Fox putting the moves on Wall. Can't can't uh, lose him though. Throws it inside the Barnes on the left block. Goes inside easy too with the layup move. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Back up to nine. Two minutes to go. Clarkson putting the moves on, getting inside, doing a step back, pump fake, gets the man in the air, gets his man in the air, and gets the little floater to go in. Defense is the champ here. A, an isolation for Fox on wall. Can't shake him though, gets inside, gets a hacked. Oh my God, wall absolutely demolishes Fox on the layup attempt. That'll teach you to go in there, huh? It's the first one the crowd reacts emphatically. They're not happy that that goes in. They're not going to be happy about this one either. <laughs> 112 to 103. This game is done and dusted, folks. Stick it a fork. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Clarkson trying to get the shot off, but it does not go. The bonus with the rebound. Fox bringing it up for Sacramento. Over to Hoarder. They're going to be running some time off the clock. You have to imagine. Down low to Murray. 
Murray takes it back outside. Times running down. Fox on the inside cut, backdoor cut, and he gets the free two points. They just waited for something to happen, and it did. Clarkson pushes the ball ahead. St. Louis needs something. He's got an ISO. He's not shaking his man at all. He's just dribbling without moving. He's not doing anything. There he goes. He got a little spin move, another spin move, another, and a nice little layup. But Jordan Clarkson, <laughs> if he didn't waste about 20 seconds dribbling in one spot, he would have had a great play there. But he did. So we're not going to applaud that too much. Another backdoor cut for Horder, who just cooks his man off a cut for an easy layup. The crowd is absolutely silent here. Clarkson trying to get something done here. Throws up another brick. Jump shots are not our thing. We don't do that here. We like layups and dunks, and that's about it. Going to run the timeout, and Sacramento is going to take this game 116 to 105 in our debut game. On our home floor, we are annihilated by the Kings. So Clarkson puts gives us 27, two rebounds, three assists on 10 for 19 shooting. Not very good three point shooting, two for seven. Um, had a negative three plus minus as well, so not very good. Diallo gave us 18. Capella 13 and 11. Six of nine shooting. Um, yeah. We're, we're not seeing a whole lot from a lot of the guys here, but uh, Westbrook only gave us four points off the bench. One of five shooting, zero, oh, oh for one from the th from three. Two of his four points came at the charity stripe. He had a negative 12 plus minus, so not what you want to see from there. Sacramento got 24 from De'Aaron Fox, 22 from Harrison Barnes, 12 and 10 from Keegan Murray. So they had a pretty well-balanced offensive uh, game there. We did not. We had a couple of guys doing really well. Or actually one guy doing well. The rest of them just kind of, you know, kind of doing other stuff. So after that loss to Sacramento, we're going to sim ahead a little bit here. We're going to see what we want to what we want to do here. I kind of want to watch a game against the other expansion team, which is the... Uh, San Diego Surf. See how we fare against them. Do we have another surf game? Not for a long while, looks like. Yeah, they're an out of conference team. You know, they're on the West Coast. We're on the e we're on the Eastern Conference. So I think we'll sim here for next uh, episode, and we'll see how we go. But we'll go ahead and sim through here. And we have an injury. Grant Williams sprained left toe one to two weeks. Eh, well, I mean, we're going to rotate, adjust it manually anyway here. Grant Williams. The uh, We will bring Metu up here. And we'll take Williams down to zero. Just have Metu do those extra couple minutes. So Metu was getting two minutes off the bench. Now he's going to get 16. So we're going to see if he can actually do something here. So we'll see how they do here. Being offered a trade, we would receive Thibule and Niang for Wall, our starting. Our starting point guard, which we can't afford to get rid of. So we're going to decline this. And so we uh, we lose three and win two. So not bad here. Let's check out our box scores here. So against the Trailblazers, the Trailblazers 
beat us fairly soundly. Looks like we're putting up, you know, anywhere from 20 to 25, 27 points per quarter. They just outscored us <clears throat> each and every quarter, obviously. Uh, so, and they get uh, 26 from Grant. 26 and 9, in fact. 22 from Hart. Christie puts up 14. Lillard, Damian Lillard, puts up 13 and 10. And Nurkic, Nurkic 10 and 10. Three assists, two steals. And for Arch City, we had uh, John Wall putting up 27. Isaac putting up 17, 8, and 5. Not a bad day. Two steals, two blocks. Westbrook puts up 13, so that's a little bit better. More like we would expect to see from him. Capella, 12 and 7, 2 blocks. Kevin Love, 7, 5, and 2 off the bench. Very nice stat line for a bench player. And then we went against the LA Clippers, and we actually trounced them by quite a bit. Um, Paul George had 21, 9, and 3, two steals. Powell had 12, Leonard with 11. They didn't really have anybody else scoring very much. Zubac had 12 rebounds, 6 points, 2 blocks. That's about it. Oop. And for Arch City, St. Louis, we had 20 from Wall again, 20 from Diallo. Wall put up a pretty good stat line, 25, 8, and 2 steals. Diallo, 20, and 9. Four steals. Wow. Clarkson put up 18. He's a pretty consistent offensive player. We're seeing Love put up a better stat line this time offensively. Clint Capella, 12 and 10 with three blocks. Very nice. And then versus the Chicago Bulls, we get absolutely roasted alive. DeMar DeRozan puts up 51 points against us. And Zach Levine puts up 41 points against us. So, I mean, you're talking about career days for, for these guys. I mean, in the same game. <laughs> First, uh, that's horrendous. Uh, let's see what we did. We had 30 from Wall. Very nice there from him. Nine assists, three steals, and a block. Just to mention that. Clarkson put up 17 6 on 6 of 10 shooting. Kevin Love, 17 on 4 of 9 shooting. Isaac, 14, 9, and 4. And nobody else really did anything of note here. And we just got absolutely annihilated. And the next game, we had St. Louis versus Houston, and we win by six. Jaron Smith Jr., 27 points, five and three, two blocks. Gordon, 14. Favors had nine and 13, not a bad day. But uh, Arch City, we put up 17 from Wall. 17, three, six on 18 of, or eight of 19 shooting. Diallo puts up 15. Capella, 13 and 12. Nice double-double. Isaac, one rebound off of a double-double, 12 and 9. Metu, our man off the bench that's uh, taken over due to the injury, puts up 10 points, gets a couple boards. Yeah, not a bad day. Uh, pretty low-scoring affair, but we'll take it. So next time, we're going to be take, taking on the San Diego Surf. And that is going to be an interesting game. Oh, let's see. Uh, fully healed. Let's adjust the rotation manually. Take Metu. Swap minutes to move players. And we're going to give Metu...
his two minutes back. <laughs> we'll give his two minutes back. It's fine. Okay. So back to what we were trying to say here. San Diego Surf has Ayo Dosunmu, Jalen Noel, RJ Barrett, Darius Baisley, Omer Gertzvin, 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 I don't know. And that's their starting five. Their best player by far is RJ Barrett, a small forward. We're going to be putting up John Wall, Jordan Clarkson, uh, Diallo, Isaac, and then Clint Capella at the center, who is our best player as well, Capella. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. It's going to be a shit fest uh, from start to finish, I can tell you that. Uh, but at any rate, it'll be fun to see. Um, and I hope you'll join me for it. Hope you enjoyed what you saw here. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. Leave a comment below about uh, what you thought about the team, how we did in our first game that we watched. And uh, hey, what'd you think about those bright yellow uniforms, huh? <laughs> At any rate, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.